actually you know, a new Avengers movie, W, Ultron villain coming before. Let's see what the Cosmo one has to say about this. And it says oh, they're on the Marvel Studios, the West Coast Avengers. Let's see what this is about and check this out. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson and as we mentioned in our video yesterday, it looks like we could be getting a new Avengers team in the MCU. However, Ooh. I'm not talking about a team that is going to appear in the Avengers film, The Kang Dynasty, or the next Avengers film, Avengers Secret Wars. We are talking about another Avengers film that could be coming before both of these movies. And it looks like it could be coming in quite an interesting way. And it looks like it could also have an extremely interesting plot as well. It actually involves the return of Ultron. And if everything pans out the way that some of these reports state they will, it actually makes a ton of sense. And I really hope that this is what they decide to do in the path that they go down. Now, the new Avengers film would involve quite a bit of change. And it would be a different Avengers team. The roster would be different than what we'd see in Avengers The King Dynasty and Secret Wars. You see, this new Avengers film is going to be Armor Wars with Rhodey, a.k.a. War machine. Recent reports that we'll get into state that this movie is actually going to be a new Avengers movie, and that it is specifically going to be the West Coast Avengers. And it sounds like it's going to bring some great characters together with Rhodey being the team leader. Now, many of you have probably heard that Armor Wars is kind of undergoing some changes. In fact, the biggest change that's been made to it so far is that it originally started off as a Disney Plus series, but is now a full featured film. It's a movie. And now this movie could be about a new Avengers team, the West Coast Avengers. So how did this exactly happen? Let's talk about this before we dive into the reported plot. The first thing that you need to know is that it actually might get a name change. This was reported by the account Cinestealth, who has been very accurate with their reports over the years. On January 9th, a few days ago, they tweeted, Armor Wars might get a title change. Now, the same time that this report came out, the same day on January 9th, another account, Great Face, came out and reported that Armor Wars is going to be a West Coast Avengers movie. So if the title gets changed, it's probably going to get changed to something involving the West Coast Avengers. It could even simply be West Coast Avengers. Now, some people might be worried that Rhodey might not get all the spotlight. After all, this was supposed to be his show and then his movie. But based off of these reports that we've gotten, it does still seem like it is going to be about him. And Don Cheadle has even spoken up recently about a little bit of what to expect from the film, specifically talking about Rhodey's journey. And the plot of this movie is going to start off in Secret Invasion. Don Cheadle has confirmed this, and it does make a lot of sense. It makes sense not only with the continuity of the MCU, and Rhodey's character, but also with the plot of what Armor Wars slash the West Coast Avengers film would be about. But as far as this movie focusing on Don Cheadle, this is what he had to say in a recent interview with Total Film. I don't think we've ever really dug into him, and now it's an opportunity to really explore his emotional life, his interior life, his relationships, his trajectory, where he wants to go, what his challenges are. And this interview was only a couple of days ago. So if they've been making changes, it seems to be very apparent that this movie is still going to be all about Rhodey. And in this interview, he did say that the storyline for this movie is going to somewhat follow the storyline from the actual comics. He said, obviously you have to play off the Marvel stuff and be in the lore of the mythology of the character and the MCU in general. But trying to build out this character and make him a three-dimensional dude is what the goal is. So I'm excited about that. So it is going to focus on him regardless of what the name of the project is going to be. But let's talk about the reported plot because it actually ties in perfectly with who James Rhodes is. Not only did this report state that Armor Wars could be turning into a West Coast Avengers movie, it also mm -hmm. stated that Ultron will return. It also talks about the roster, but we'll talk about that in just a bit. The fact that Ultron could return in Armor Wars is fantastic and super exciting, but most importantly, it makes sense. Armor Wars is supposed to be about what happens when Tony Stark's Iron Man tech gets into the wrong hands. What happens when Iron Man tech is used for evil, not good? Well, here's the thing about that. Ultron is Iron Man tech. And they made it very clear in Avengers Age of Ultron, Tony Stark said that every trace of Ultron had to be destroyed or he could come back because he could still exist out there on the web. And if he did, he could return. Well, we've already kind of seen many hints of him still existing. 
In Spider-Man Homecoming, we saw the head of an Ultron bot, plus not to mention S.W.O.R.D. created another Vision. But they did that without an Infinity Stone, which is where Vision kind of came from. Without it, he is basically still just Ultron. So it definitely seems like traces of Ultron are still out there. Plus, not to mention other outlets have reported that Ultron is going to be returning as well, the CosmicCircus.com being one of them. They stated that they've heard from their sources Ultron will indeed be returning. And War Machine's movie is perfect for that. Because as Don Cheadle stated, this is going to be about him and his personal journey and his relationships. Well, we know that Iron Man, Tony Stark, was his best friend. He also had a major role to play in Avengers Age of Ultron. He watched Tony Stark create Ultron and then he helped him clean up the mess. So this is unfinished business with him and his old best friend, who I'm sure we're going to see him mourn over in this movie. So it's going to be extremely personal. Rhodey's not going to want his best friend's tech in the wrong hands so people could remember him the wrong way. Not that they really should, after all, Tony Stark did sacrifice himself to save the entire universe, but you know Rhodey's going to look out for Tony Stark even after he's gone. Plus, you know, the whole world is kind of at jeopardy and in danger if Ultron returns, and Rhodey is in the military. It kind of goes along with his job. So as far as the plot of this is concerned, I think it makes a lot of sense. However, there is another aspect to the plot that I think we need to address, and that is the possibility of scrolls playing a part of this movie. Don Cheadle has already confirmed that he is going to be in Secret Invasion. We know what Secret Invasion is going to be about. It's about scrolls infiltrating Earth, specifically very important organizations. And heck, as far as we know, some scroll have impersonated some Avengers, possibly even Tony Stark to go into Tony Stark's lab and take some of his stuff. We know a lot is going to be revealed in Secret Invasion. And in that same interview with Total Film, Don Cheadle said this, I'm in Secret Invasion. So I'm in Sam Jackson's show. There's a part of that that kicks off what happens in Armor Wars. Well, again, Secret Invasion is going to be about the Skrull infiltrating important and kind of dangerous organizations. So since these events kick off the things that are going to happen in Armor Wars, I'm assuming that some Skrull have their hands on some Iron Man tech, and some of that could be Ultron related. And if that's the case, honestly, it sounds pretty dang amazing. Now, the rest of this report talking about how Armor Wars could be a West Coast Avengers film states the expected roster. It says Rhodey, Vision, Ironheart, Wonder Man, as well as Kate Bishop, and potentially Shang-Chi. Now, Vision kind of just makes sense. If they're going after Ultron, Vision is the one who helped take him down before, so it just makes sense to have him join the fight again. However, this won't be the same Vision, at least as far as we know. This will most likely be Spectral Vision, the one that S.W.O.R.D. created that we were introduced to in WandaVision. At the very end of WandaVision, he sort of just took off, and that's the last we've heard of him. But of course, we know Marvel has plans for him, and it looks like it could be for this movie. Now, since Ironheart basically is an Iron Man suit, it makes sense to have her in this movie as well. What better way to fight Iron Man tech than with Iron Man tech slash Wakandan tech? Now, we know that Wonder Man is getting his own Disney Plus series, and it's good to know that Marvel Studios could be thinking about including him in more than just a series, but an actual West Coast Avengers film, especially when he has ties with Vision. In fact, in the comics, Vision was designed with the memories of Wonder Man. In fact, Wonder Man had feelings for the Scarlet Witch, and some say that this is the reason that Vision actually had feelings for the Scarlet Witch, because he had the memories of Wonder Man. So that connectivity is certainly going to be something that I would love to see play out in the MCU. And the fact that Kate Bishop and potentially Shang-Chi could show up in this roster is also extremely exciting. So we'll see if these reports come true. We do know Armor Wars is indeed going through some changes, so it looks like we could be getting a West Coast Avengers movie. If this happens, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Are you excited and what would you like to see? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. For live updates, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. Please subscribe, like this video, and see you guys. Bye.